Hey guys, this is Sam from The Good Games, um, with a fairly powerful hand, um, some mono red deck here, so we're just gonna keep it, and we're playing against mono white, which is really good against Burning Tree Emissary. Ho ho! So maybe we're just lucky, and we draw one drop this turn, and then either a third Emissary, or a third two drop next turn, and then a land. And then we can't lose. Hopefully he doesn't have the two drop. If he attacks, we're definitely blocking. Um, because of the emissaries, like, letting him gain two life isn't great. Possibly another soldier. Judge is familiar. Alright, so... We're going to be able to go emissary into emissary into bolt familiar. Um, there's not really an issue with this play, like, I don't see an issue with clearing out the familiar right now, like, as soon as we can. I don't know what he has in his deck, if he has things like Unflinching Courage or Gift of Orzava that could cause his issues. Or Salute. Alright, so it seems like just straight up White Weenie, wouldn't be surprised if there's another one drop in our future. So this is the 16 one drop version, which I've not personally played against. Um, he may chump trade, um, just to not fall too behind, but I can't really see him doing that, like, he could very easily play two more one-drops next turn and attack for a bajillion, so, I think the correct play is to keep the pressure on. If we draw third land, we're going to be able to really bring the beatdowns, if we don't draw third land, it could be a little tricky. Uh, this deck really wants to get to 3 for Phoenix and Skull Cleaver, so maybe 20 lands isn't enough. But, I don't know, I'm still fairly confident because, like, <clears throat> I don't know, Phoenix is pretty good anyways. Like, it's a Thought Seize deterrent, um, and can just be pretty good. Skull Cleaver may be the one where, like, having 8 3 drops may be a little too risky. We may want to, like, jam Skull Cracks in the main deck, or Ash Zealots in the main deck, or... I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if we could play as like 16 one drops, but that could be like a halfway decent idea. Another Pegasus launch the fleet. All right, he's gonna attack and get. So he's gonna get in for a bajillion. Oh, so the battalion doesn't trigger. That's super interesting. All right, so we almost assuredly win this race now. Because we're able to get in for 10 and then 10 again. And I don't think he can do 16. So we should be on to game 2 pretty shortly here. Um, the sideboarding of this deck is a little weird. Because we can't really just go bigger. Uh, we don't have like flyers to stop his flyers. I mean we do have Phoenix. But he has more than 4 flyers. And we have to get to 3 mana in order to use them. So, like, my gut tells me that our regular list is pretty good, although I think Hammer uh, could be good if we get into a grind fest. Alright, so let's say he blocks the four in the... Okay, so we we have it on lock, as they say. I guess I'll just show him another Skull Cleaver. Maybe he thinks we're too cheap to buy one dollar Chandra Phoenixes or whatever. Sweet. Alright, um... So Skull Cleaver is actually really good there. Well, obviously very good there, but that doesn't mean it's super good in general. Um, Searing Blood is the nut. I would take out Skull Cleaver. <sighs> is 12 one drops too many? I really like the idea of having Hammer for his stuff. Like, if he doesn't draw a lot of flyers, we can just muck up the ground with a Hammer. Skull Crack could also be good. Just to like burn him out. Take a skull cleaver out for a hammer. Um, is Seder Nick Smith good? No. I think this is probably the optimal configuration. It's a little weird. Uh, we don't have a lot of burn. We have 10 burn spells. We could, I guess, have more. Also, there's not going to be that much two for one going on here, is my assumption. Uh, this hand is still like very solid. I mean, I know he has a one drop, but we can probably beat it, so. 
Okay, and we have a one drop. That is the actual best case scenario. I mean, I guess he can gain a life if he needs to. I mean, next turn we just have like all kinds of options. Hmm. Well, it has protection anyway, so... Letting it block the soldier wouldn't actually be letting it block the soldier. Mm hmm So, he has the sweet planes out on the field. And then, oh gosh. Come on, man. I really do like that, basic planes, though. Alright, so, assuming that he... Well, launch the fleet wouldn't trigger battalion. So... We're going to attack and then play Emissary into Gorehouse Chainwalker. I just don't see how that's not the best plan. We could Searing Blood, but I don't think we're going to have to do that this turn. Because um, even if he plays like a single Judge's Familiar, we can still get the Searing Blood past him. So, that shouldn't be an issue. And we are trying to race him after all. So Searing Blood's basically like two mana kill a creature bolt him in a race. Uh, actually the best card in our deck right now. Azorius Arrester. Jeez. I'm assuming he's attacking with everything. Um... Still taking down the Skyjack, I assume. The Skyjack or the Pegasus? The Skyjack is 3 1. So that, that one point of damage could really come to bite us. Yeah. Um. It's gonna be able to block something next turn. So I think instead of playing Mutavault, we play the Foundry Street Denizen so that it can also block next turn. So that if he, like, all-out attacks us, we'll be able to block two things. Because we are definitely not the beatdown right now. We can, I think, quickly turn the corner with, like, stalemating him for one turn and then, like, playing our Phoenix and our Mutavault and killing him in two swings. But right now, anyways, we have to be willing to, like, trade. Especially since we're playing removal spells and he's not. Obviously, Brave the Elements is a consideration. Like, he could two-for-one us with it. Um, this looks to be something bigger, like a spear, maybe, or a launch the fleet. Okay. So now we know he's going to have infinite guys. Like, we just... It's very obvious he's going to have infinite guys. So, he left the mana up, my guess is for Brave, I would assume. It has to be, right? So, is there any draw that kills him next turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Jeez. So, he's at 11. So, we can block here and here. No brave. Another one drop. Alright. Um, are we dead next turn? We are not. Hmm. So we're definitely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I don't think he can do 10. So we're getting one with everything and letting him block something. And he. Could trade with the Phoenix. This is actually pretty tricky. I think we're trying to turn the corner here. Um, even though he has soldier that can like block a emissary or whatever. Yeah, and then my guess the loyal Pegasus goes on the Phoenix. No. Okay, well now he's almost certainly dead the following turn. I think he blocked wrong, like I know he could be afraid of shock or whatever, but like I still think that he has to like, he just has to block with the Pegasus that turn, I would imagine. Alright, so it looks like our opponent timed out on us here. Uh, meaning that I'm going to have to, you know, wait a while to win the match. But, hey, 
uh, a win is a win, and uh, I'll take it, and we will move on to round number two.